Hey guys, it's Chris Jones for episode 45 of Ask Me Anything. Most recently, I was uh, reviewing some of, my, uh, some of my work and some of my notes on the topic of happiness, which is, um, which is, is something that I, I, uh, I think we're all driven by, right? So I don't have to kind of repeat the obvious, but it's something that I've dedicated a lot of my life to because I have so many things going on at once that I'm constantly antagonized and pulled in different directions. And I'm really driven by a sense of peace and um, spirituality and happiness that is sometimes elusive to those of us, those of you uh, that are high achievers, right? That are constantly being pulled in different directions. Sometimes you wonder like, whoa, why am I doing this? So happiness is just a topic that I've talked about in previous AMAs. And like I said, I was recently just reviewing some notes and there were a couple areas of my life that, that um, just seemed uh, out of whack. And I was really in search of some, some immediate solutions. So let me, uh, let, me, let, let me start by just prefacing it. I'm sure you guys have a couple areas of your life that also just don't seem to be at the level you want them to be. Um, and as a result, you feel a sense of either disconnect or a sense of that something's lacking. Um, or you could even be at the extreme and be very disappointed in yourself or God forbid, even depressed. And, and by the way, depression is um, something we all, all experience and all face. And, and I'm hoping that today's AMA, regardless of where you're at in your life right now, we all have areas that we something seems to be missing. But no matter where you're at right now, it's okay. And there are tools and tips and strategies um, that could help us uh, when we need it. So <clears throat> we all have blueprints for what will make us happy. In other words, we have rules and specific expectations around what we need in order for us to feel like we're financially successful. So if your blueprint for financial success requires you to make a lot more money than you are making right now, you are likely to be unhappy or unfulfilled. But if your blueprint for financial success is around growing your financial wealth, say a certain percentage each year, let's say 5%, and you are importantly on track, you're making progress, you are likely happy, you're kind of thrilled by your current financial con condition and, and you're not questioning it. But for, for many of us, you know, financial stability and success is always, uh, again, for, for many of us, an area of what feels like instability. Um, so, but here's the point, and, I'm, and this is a fairly, challenging topic, so please stick with me. Stick with me. Um, you know, try to hear me out fully, and, and I'm hoping I could connect with you. But so the point of all of this is that when things are out of whack, you're between your blueprint and your reality, you likely feel unfulfilled and unhappy. So in addition to financial success, you likely have a blueprint for a range of of other things that are very important uh, to your happiness. Here are a couple of the things that I jotted down. Your relationship with your significant other. You have, you have rules and expectations. You have an actual blueprint around that and whether or not those expectations are being met or whether or not those rules are being met. For, for many of us, they're not uh, or they're not as, as uh, consistent with our blueprint as we would like your relationship with your siblings or your children or other loved ones. Here's a real common one, your overall health, including your weight and what you eat, what you put into your body, how you feel, your energy level, right? If your expectation is that health includes being a certain weight uh, and or um, having a certain level of, of organic energy um, versus non-organic um, and that you know, it means that you could do certain things um, and you're not doing those, you probably have a, a part of you 
that feels like it's, it's, it's incongruent. Um, that incongruency between your expectations, your AKA your blueprint and your reality is a main driver of your happiness. So if you want to be more happy, right, we need to have this conversation. You need to have this conversation with yourself, which is the point of this video is for me to prompt that conversation. So remember what I shared in a previous AMA. At the end of the day, let's not overcomplicate this. Progress equals happiness. Even if our blueprint is out of whack with our reality, if we're making progress, we're okay. If we are a deer caught in headlights, just like this, and I'm not doing anything, and you're not doing anything, there's probably a very high level of unfulfillment, unsatisfaction, unhappiness that goes along with that particular area of your life. And we want to become more aware of that, you know, so that we could take action. Um, the reason I did this video is twofold. First, I can completely relate. You know, I do these videos and um, in most of them I come across as Mr. Confidence, absolute certainty, um, that I have all the answers. And, um, and the reality is I'm just as human as any of us, you know. Um, I go through a lot of the same struggles and challenges you do, sincerely. Um, I've been in, in, in really bad places emotionally in my life. Um, if there is a difference, I would say that I have been obsessed with finding uh, a, a quick way out, uh, using tools, um, using um, different strategies, and, uh, and, and quite honestly, reorganizing the way that I, I uh, stay in pain and how I move towards, towards pleasure. But first, I just want to let you know that, um, I, as I said, I most recently went back to my notes because I, I felt like I needed to reprioritize my energy and increase my happiness. You, you heard me, you guys that know me best or have watched previous videos know that one of my goals for 2017 is, is um, spending a lot of time doing less, right? So in other words, just like any, whenever you focus your, your time and your attention on something, you are in the perfect position to take action and make a difference. But if your time is being spread so thin, it's just more difficult. Not that you can't move the needle, not that you can't make progress, not that you can't be happy. But for me, it's an area that I'm, I'm trying to improve. So that's the first reason. I'm here with you. Like, I swear to God in my life, this, I think it was this past weekend or the weekend before. I mean, you should see the notes that I took. I mean, I took copious notes on my blueprint regarding how I view financial success, uh, my relationship with, with my wife, um, uh, my career and my career goals. Um, I, I swear to God that since I took notes on the idea of, of health and wellness, I have worked out literally every day since. And I feel freaking great because I'm making more progress towards my... Um, my blueprint for, for health. Health for me is, is what I put in my body and uh, you know, uh, my energy level and you know, you know, maintaining a certain uh, physique. So that's the second. The second reason, which is a theme of why I do these videos, is I am absolutely certain from the bottom of my heart that I think you can do the same thing right now. The same thing that I'm doing in my own life by getting clear on what my blueprints are for the things that, that really drive my happiness or unhappiness, right? Understanding that better and then making some decisions. It's all about taking action and not continuing to put things off until you're dead. You, you need to be motivated. How about some of these things you identify as incongruent, like the things that you you care about that you don't have or that you're far from getting how about what if what if life was to end tomorrow what if today was the last day of our lives you know um would you then be motivated to take action so it's important i'm not suggesting you need to come up with 15 things here i would say one one area probably the the area that's causing you the most pain 
That's my challenge for you, is that you identify that area and you write your blueprint and then you also write down your current reality. So let's quickly revisit the idea of blueprint and how we can take action to improve your level of happiness, right? I don't wanna just sit here and pontificate with you guys. I wanna give you some constructive tips and next steps and actionable uh, information for you guys to, to incorporate this in your life, just like I am. So as I said, identify an area of your life that you are not happy with. We all have them. <laughs> and if you don't, that's great, um, but you will, uh, and you have. So ask or answer these questions. Just try to get a sense of, of why aren't you, why do you feel like you're not happy, right? What is your blueprint for that area of your life? Like wh wh where are the expectations missing? It's highly unlikely that if your blueprint for something is consistent with your reality, that it's much of an issue and that I would be highly surprised that it isn't already driving uh, happiness into your life. So we're really looking for the incongruent things here. Once you write it down and really uh, think it through, how reasonable is it? Is your blueprint like a carryover from when you were a teenager? <laughs> like, do you still want to be six foot five and thin? Um, or do you still want to, you know, make a hundred million dollars by the time you're 40 and you're 42 years old? You need to really get clear on what your blueprint is. And, and, and I was kind of joking there, but the reality is, is that sometimes when, remember the deer cotton headlights analogy? What I have found from studying personal and professional development for 25, 30 years, uh, most of my adult life, is that um, it's so weird. Our body almost shuts down. Like our, uh, we, we don't confront things. It's so weird. The things that, that are holding us back from believing in ourselves, taking the first step towards you know, self-improvement or towards progress, for whatever the reason, there's this weird wiring going on in the human condition that, um, that almost makes us like a deer caught in headlights. And um, you know how quickly that could change? Like this. It changes that quick when you focus on it. Your energy goes where you focus. So um, ask, if, if, if you focus your energy on this incongruence, right? This, this area that's, that's causing you some unhappiness. Um, if you focus your energy on it and took steps towards improving it, just making progress, this stuff, this shit ain't gonna happen overnight, right? Stop it. Part of what, and this is one of the things I realize, and trust me, I'm a, I, I, this happens to myself too. We are so hard on ourselves for immediate results that we, are, we don't take action. Stop it. Break it down into steps and, and just focus on progress. I mean, Jesus, that's the, that first step is the most important. So when I went through this exercise recently, I identified overall fitness and weight uh, as two areas that were out of whack. I also felt like I needed to come to Jesus with my blueprint around financial success. In each case, I was able to take almost immediate action um, to begin the progress of making progress. It's just the process of making progress. I'm sorry, the process of making progress, right? To bring my blueprint more in line with my reality. So again, you know, let's, let's talk about your life. You know, what areas of your life are out of whack? Once you identify those, you have two choices. One, you could take immediate action to get your reality more in line with your blueprint. That's what I'm doing right now. I looked at my blueprint and I said, you know, Chris, I said, you know, you've got some crazy goals. You've got some ambitious uh, expectations around relationships, around financial success, um, among other things. But none of them were so crazy that I, I needed to, uh, to redefine them. I just took immediate action. And for most of you, that's going to be the case. Again, you're not going to you know, uh, construct a bridge overnight, um, but you could take the first step to construct the bridge. So if you could take action, if it's realistic um, and, and you think it's 
you know, the best course of action, do that. The second option is to change your blueprint. Um, and changing your blueprint is not a bad thing. It's actually something that I would encourage you to do throughout your life. It's, it's one of those things where we probably don't update our expectations for what we want in life and who we become enough. It's something like if, you know, if, if, if we never, it's like we almost hang on to things who we're not, which is very odd. Um, but it's, again, the human condition. Um, this is an opportunity for you to rewrite your blueprint if necessary so that it's, it's either closer to your reality or within reach of your, of your reality. Um, if you are putting too much pressure on yourself to be someone you no longer want to be, stop it immediately. Just stop it. Trust me, stop it. Um, it'll, it, it'll be, it's an unrealistic uh, uh, goal if happiness is more important. And I'm going to tell you right now, happiness is more important. So, so be willing to rewrite some, some of your blueprint. So um, here's my conclusion. I'd like you guys to think more about this topic. And if you have any questions, I get it sensitive um, or want to continue the com conversation, let's do so below in the comments or feel free to reach out. Yesterday, I, uh, it was actually earlier this week, I had a um, opportunity to sit down with uh, a woman uh, who's been watching some of my AMAs. Um, I'm going to try not to get emotional here, but she, um, about 20, 25 minutes into a totally unrelated conversation, I had no idea she was even watching the AMAs. She said, so Chris, how do you think I look? And I was like, you look great. I'm not going to say the person's name, but you look great. You always look great. Your energy level, you always shine. And, and, and I've told this person that for, for many years because it's true. But she said, well, you're looking at someone who is 26 pounds lighter and much more energetic and much more healthy than last time you saw me. And she said, I made the decision when I watched your AMA on goal setting. And she tied it into another AMA that I had talked about uh, earlier in the series about how important personal brand is, especially if you're going to be a front person in your company. You're going to public speak. You're going to put yourself out there. It's not about weight, guys. It's about energy. It's about confidence. It's about being able to walk into a room and believe that you not only deserve to be there, that you are asked to be there because you could solve problems, add value, and do a whole ton of things that all of us have the ability to do. But this, this particular woman um, had totally connected with that. And, and I'm sharing that with you because I want you, I've said that this process ha has to be, um, it has to be based on action. It cannot be a passive process. And uh, that is an example of how you could just take some of this content. Guys, I'm basically collating this information. It's stuff that I've studied over the years. I've taken notes. I've made some of it my own. But at the end of the day, I'll say it again many times into the future, success leaves clues. That's what we're trying to do here. We don't have to struggle and wonder. We could take action right now. And I hope you do that. And I will see you guys in episode 46. Peace out.